your thoughts on this afternoon then Alex? Um, a really strange game I would probably <laughs> say um, yeah we started really poorly um, two individual mistakes or collective mistakes as a team obviously let them in and, and they went 2-0 ahead um, quite early I think when we actually started and probably relaxed a little bit and, and played a little bit more we, we had a lot of joy I mean getting the goal quickly before just before half time was, was, a, was a real positive for us um, and obviously it got us back into the game um, and then after that second half I thought it looked like there was only going to be one team that would go and win it and I, I just said to the boys at half time I said I said I've no doubt in your ability I said just just relax and, and be patient you've got to be patient I said don't don't care if the goal comes in the 85th minute 89th minute I still I still fancy us to go and get another one after we'd scored one and I think the save the keepers made from the from Reg's free kick um, it was phenomenal full credit to him and then um, after that I think Wills had a header from a corner cleared off the line um, so yeah it only looked like we were going to win it from there but a really, a really strange afternoon. I think it was marred by a, a quite poor referee performance, probably for both sides. Really, I think they they would say the exact same. I know they felt very aggrieved. I think um, I haven't I haven't commented on a ref probably in the whole time I've been the boxing yeah. manager, have I? Um, but I thought he was really poor this afternoon for both teams. Um, and and look, it, it did spoil the game really. I felt sorry for both sets of players, unfortunately. Um, it was a it was a poor first half hour. Yeah. Um, and I think you know it was quite surprising, really, and that the amount of gaps they were finding in our defence. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. second half, you actually changed formation as well, and that they didn't seem to be able to cope with that formation change because you know Christian came on, mm. and all of a sudden you're playing more with three at the back and pushing people forward, and we were just finding space all the time. Yeah, we just saw the left wing back just sat in and didn't want to go forward at all, so we just we just asked Chris to go out there and unorthodox for him play at right back and just get on the ball and, and I just said to him before when, um, when I, before I come out here I thought he was phenomenal when he come on I thought he got a lot of a lot of joy and a lot of ball a lot of energy and, and he seems he seems like he's really backfiring so I was delight, delighted with him and, and his performance when he came on and he, just, and he does deserve that absolutely similarly I thought Will had a good, good impact on the game when he came on obviously he's got to come on and, and got a goal so full credit to him I said he'd been doing a lot of the hard work for 60-70 minutes somebody else had been coming on and getting applauded so tonight I'm um, oh, sorry tonight today it was the other way around and, and and obviously we started with Cam and, and, and the other two Cam, sorry, and then Will comes on and, and gets us back into it, so delighted for him as well. I suppose, I mean, after, after that first half hour, we'd all settle for a point. Yeah. We're in, in, in a lot of ways, I think it shows more about where the team is now that we're going home disappointed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely, we are. We are disappointed with the point. Um, I do think we were the only side that we're going to go on and win it. Um, but I do think had we been allowed to, we probably would have gone on and won it. Um, so, yeah, really frustrated um, with the point. But look, full credit to Camel Laird. I thought they battled hard, they worked hard, they scored, they scored two goals and, and, and two goals we shouldn't have given away. But full credit to them. Um, I like coming here. So, it's a, it, they're a good people and they're, they're a good side to play against and always enjoy the game. So, yeah, full credit to them. And two weeks without a league game, and which I, in a lot, lot of ways is probably... Uh, it's a good thing in a lot of ways. It gives us a chance to get players a little bit, you know, get some fitness back. Yeah. Um, FA Vars next Saturday. Yeah. Uh, trip to the into the unknown for an awful lot of people. I think I don't think yeah. you know, not sure any of us. I've been to Cradley in the past, oh, but uh, <laughs> it'll it, it'll be a, a different challenge. Yeah, absolutely. It will. Um, it will give us time time to get some people back. Cause we are a bit walking wounded at the minute. I mean, we struggled to fill the bench today. Um, and, and we have got a lot of players out. I write in a book at the start of the game, I write the 11, I write the bench, and then I write the players on the, who are not available because they're injured. And the not available players who were injured was much more than five because it didn't fit on the page. Um, so we have got a lot out. Um, having said that, um, moving on to the to the, the cup, I'm looking forward to the cup. Um, the Vars is always special, isn't it? I mean, I haven't really been involved in the Vars in my, in my, my career, really. I've always been the trophy, but that, with the level I've been playing at, it's never really been realistic for us to get any kind of decent run. So I think we, we look forward to the to the, the Vars game next week against Craig. They're a pretty unknown commodity to us all, like you say. Um, and I'm sure they'll be a, a tough test, but we'll look forward to it. Excellent. See you Thank then. You. Cheers, Cheers, man.